In this video, I'm going to talk a bit about the different types of integers that we get. So we get big int, int, small int, and tiny int. Here you can see the numbers that they can store. So a tiny int can store anything from 0 to 255. It cannot store any negative numbers. You'll get an arithmetic overflow error. That's because it's not inside 0 to 255. You can't do 256. You'll get the same error. A small int, however, can do minus. You see here, it can do up to minus almost 32,000 and plus 32,000. An integer can go down or up to almost 2 billion, and a big int just goes really far. You probably won't need anything bigger than that ever. Here you can see how many bytes it takes to store. So a tiny int takes 1 byte, a small int takes 2, an int takes 4, and a big int takes 8. So if you know roughly what numbers you'll be entering, it would be best to go with the smallest integer that you can to save on those bytes. And that's the different kinds of integers that we get. Look for the link down below for more exercises. Our sponsors, Help, MyDatabasesSlow.com, specializes in making slow databases run faster. Contact them. They may be able to help.